How many of you guys have ever tried to manifest something? And something crazy happened where it just opposite show up? It could love, it could be money, it could be anything. It's incredibly frustrating. Many people do vision board and decide to manifest their amazing goal. I am going to manifest a million dollars. And then within a couple of weeks, something happened in their world or their reality. Suddenly their car damages, phone break, or cop a speeding fine, even they lose their job. They ask. Why the heck that happened? I had the big amazing goal, I visualized it regularly, I showed gratitude, but now my world falling apart. Why does this happen? It happens because we have cross purposes or conflictual reality. That is you have two competing purposes fighting with you. One says. I want to have money, abundance. Universe completely supports me and have my back. Another says. Are you crazy? That stuff doesn't work. You are not abundant, you have limitations. Those limiting thoughts patterns or core belief called as abundance block. How these block forms. We build these pattern in past, especially in early age. Let's take example. A seven year old kid went for shopping on his birthday with his mom and dad. The kid seated on the back seat of the car. His dad was talking to her mom about how they were running out of money. The kid pretended as in sleep. He felt so guilty for his family's financial conditions. So when in the shop he selected the cheapest thing he could get. This incident will result in thought patterns like. If you ask for too much, someone else you love will suffer. We keep imprinting such false belief in our life. By this way, we create our own reality. Things you haven't been given the chance to logically process or form a belief around yourself. They just attach themselves to your subconscious and drastically impact your reality by being energy block. Your subconscious doesn't have the ability to analyze and evaluate. It just takes on what it hears and sees as truth. That's why we have to be very careful about what influences you surround yourself with, like negative news or gossip. Let's see another such vibration blocks. Money blocks. Money doesn't grow on trees. This belief sets people up to believe money is scarce and difficult to earn. Embrace these beliefs instead. Money does grow on trees, and the trees are ideas. Money is abundant and earning it is very easy by solving a problem through persistent, creative thought. Money is the root of all evil. The real saying is actually the love of money is the root of all evil. Embrace these beliefs instead. By money, you can serve more, share more of yourself with the world. Inspire more, help more, be more. Money can feed the hunger, educate, cure disease. Another day another dollar. Or. You have to work too hard to get wealthy. The masses trade time for money. This creates the belief that making money is a linear process directly connected to time. The average person believes the only way to make more money is to work more hours. Embrace these beliefs instead. Money grows exponentially and abundantly. Big money requires thinking about it in non-linear terms. To get wealthy I just provide real value for others and ask for a good price. It takes money to make money. This phrase is limiting at best and destructive at worst. Embrace these beliefs instead. You have to have great ideas that solve problems to make money. If you do, you will attract money like a magnet. Here's the Dalai Lama's belief about money. Money is good. It is important. Without money, daily survival not to mention further development is impossible. So we are not even questioning its importance. At the same time, it is wrong to consider money a god or a substance endowed with some power of its own. To think that money is everything, and that just by having lots of it all our problems will be solved is a serious mistake. Relationship Block I can't tell the truth because I may get judged. Embrace these beliefs instead. It is not my job to please people in life. Be myself, there will never be anyone else like me. I don't want to get close to this person lest my heart gets broken. Embrace these beliefs instead. 
I love freely because it is part of being human. It is by opening my heart that I will attract the right kind of love into my life. Heartbreaks help me to learn more about myself and love, they move me closer towards attracting the right person into my life. I can't trust people because I've been betrayed before. Embrace these beliefs instead. Everyone is deserving of my trust unless otherwise disproved. Without trust, I can't form a meaningful relationship with anyone. Inspiration Block I can't pursue my dreams because I don't know what I'd do if I fail. Embrace these beliefs instead. My dreams are mine for the taking. Whatever I can conceive, I can achieve. It's up to me to take the steps to make things happen. It's too late to pursue my dreams. Embrace these beliefs instead. It's never too late to pursue anything. What's more important is that I take action now. Age is just a number. My current age is just a reflection of the number of years I've been alive, but not a reflection of my unlimited power as a being. Other limiting core beliefs may relate to Approval seeking I'm only worth something if people like me. Glamour I must be beautiful and admired, I am ugly. Autonomy If someone enters my world, I will have no freedom at all. Failure If I don't succeed, I'm worthless. Unwanted I don't belong anywhere. These limiting core beliefs or thought patterns are not true. They are merely thoughts resulting from a combination of childhood experiences, environmental factors, and your innate temperament. Some people believe these ideas so strongly that they cannot see the untruths in such extreme lines of thoughts. Because core beliefs are often born in childhood, they may reflect messages that were overly or implicitly communicated by family members. While maladaptive thoughts patterns and core beliefs may be difficult to challenge, many techniques exist that allow change to be possible. Recognizing such abundance blocks can be an excellent first step. We will discuss about how to clear the abundance blocks of past life that may be preventing you from attracting abundance into your life in further videos. If you like the video please hit the like button. I am heavily depend on your suggestions for further videos, so please do post it in comments. And please subscribe the channel Nirvana for further videos. Thank you.